and we're talking, we're teaching George about consuming ants for B12, right? Yeah, essential nutrients. David Wolf suggests that you consume ants for your B12 intake. And as Durian Rider has noted that even meat eaters are deficient in B12. So we're like, well, okay, well, I want free range ants, right? Because I'm not just not going to eat any ant. No, no, you don't want farm raised ants. You don't want farm raised ants for this. You no, want no, no. free range wild ants. Yes. Yes. So then my next concern was you can get a genetically modified anteater, though. That sucks the ants in and then blows them out in <laughs> <laughs> the pellets? Bite sized bags. Are they bite chocolate, size are bags. chocolate flavored? Are they chocolate So you but recommend. It's a special genetically modified anteater. Anteaters. Now, George was concerned that the ant was going to um, gonna bite him as he eats it. No, you just rip their mouths off. But we have to make sure it's done humanely. Yeah. You gotta have humanely snipped ants' mouths so they don't bite you. Ants don't sting, do they? No, they just bite. I think there are some stinging ants, but not the B special B12 ants. Not those the special are, those, those are biters. So if you're into ant consumption, here's our rules. Make sure they're wild, free-range ants. No farm ants. Because some people have ant farms. Wait, 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 wait. You forgot the most important detail. These ants have to be fed on a vegetarian diet. These really? These ants can't be eating chickens. Oh, they can't be eating chickens. No, okay. these have to be free-range Free range vegetarian ants. Vegetarian fed. Are they, are they red a vegetarian or just vegan ants? Or does it matter? As long as they're free range and they're vegetarian fed. So you could give them some, you know, like the truffle cheese you serve. Truffle cheese. So truffle cheese. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can give them truffle. Ants can eat truffle cheese. Yes. Truffle cheese. They can eat honey. This is the B12. They can eat honey. Yes. They can definitely eat Jolly Ranchers. Because Jolly Ranchers are vegetarian. And there can't be any chemicals. chemicals there can't be that. anything it's wrong with a Jolly Rancher. It's part of the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the food pyramid in the United States. Oh yeah, more color on your plates the better. Yes. I think you make every color Jolly Rancher. Free range ants, they're allowed to eat Jolly Ranchers because that's part of the food pyramid. Make more colors on your plate. Um, and make sure your ants, their, humane, their mouths are humanely snipped. Just like those elk antlers, humanely snipped. Pfizer is coming out with a special tool I know it's a drug company, okay. but they care so much about these ants, they're coming out with this tool that rips their mouths off, but at the same time injects them with Novocaine, so they oh. don't exactly <laughs> feel, feel their the mouths pain. being ripped off. So for an ethical anteater, we have options. We, yes. Ethical anteaters have options. <laughs> <laughs> the, how does the anteater work? The anteater is genetically modified. The anteater is... Is the anteater doesn't need doesn't need their bread bread with a Hoover vacuum make made in Wisconsin. Okay. <laughs> so they, they make love to the vacuum. Okay. <laughs> and then they have the special Hoover anteater. <laughs> Hoover anteater. <laughs> which sucks up these ants. So they don't need to snip their mouths. Do so you know how much up. irons in, in anteater ship? A lot! Don't tell David Wolf my idea. <laughs> Don't tell David Wolf! Because he will have anteater <laughs> shit on his website tomorrow. <laughs> he will. Eating David, some sort of benzonite clay or something. David Wolf anteater shit available. Anteater shit available. available. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> yeah. And it comes free with a neutral bullet. Neutral bullet. <laughs> so you can blend the shit. So you can blend the shit. <laughs>